And this coleslaw here is a light version. This one has no mayonnaise. Uh, we're going to finish it off with little goji berries, little garnish of gojis. And uh, these are really nice, really very, he very healthy goji berries. And uh, they're in stock, great prices. Chefdepot.com. It's a uh, Porsche knife today. It's big, it's sharp, cuts very easily. When you're doing cabbage uh, for coleslaw, you generally want to remove the core. And I got a little trick for you today. Instead of uh, chopping it with the knife, we're going to use a mandolin. So if you use a knife, you're just going to go like this, and you know you can go a little faster. But it just takes a little more effort than using a mandolin. So uh, I'm going to show that to you in just a moment. Okay, this is the Braun Mandolin. I really am a fan of these. I love this unit. You set it up like this, you look down the blades, you can go to the, the wide blades, the skinny blades. doesn't really matter for coleslaw, but I do want kind of a thin cut like this. So we're going to start right here, and we're going to uh, push it through and see how it does. Oh yeah, look at that. I like that cut for coleslaw. Okay. Now you can go pretty fast. I've got a stainless steel cut proof glove on here, so I'm not worried about cutting myself. It's uh, it's safe and fast work. This is the rocking motion. Okay. And of course, a good coleslaw, you got to have an onion. So I'm going to. Uh, do a quick dice of the onion. This is a nice small onion. Very easy to work with a little onion like this. in there. Uh, one more thing I like in a coleslaw is just a touch of color, a touch of red. So we're going to put just a little tiny bit of red cabbage just for color. Okay, I'm putting just a very small touch of red cabbage just for color. And this red cabbage uh, will change the color of the coleslaw a little bit, but I just want the color in there. And of course, the last thing, we're going to put a few carrots in as well. Carrots I like to uh, I like to do pretty thin on the mandolin. Like this. A little thinner. That's my coleslaw mixture right there. Okay, all of this gets combined in the dressing. And once this is all uh, marinated together, all the flavors are together, then a couple hours, then your coleslaw is done. Okay? Just like this, just mix it together and cover and refrigerate. Check it in a while. If you have to add a little more mayonnaise, a little more vinegar, you can do that later. Taste and adjust the seasonings. Anyway, this is going to be a very good coleslaw. And this is a light, healthy coleslaw. I don't like a ton of mayonnaise and sour cream and, you know, uh, too much sugar. This, this is going to be good when it's all done. All right, I'll be back. Okay, here's the coleslaw a day later. Uh, the coleslaw has definitely marinated some more. It's definitely marinated some more and uh, gotten a little bit more tender. I'm going to put a little bit here in this cup, one serving, and give it a garnish. For the garnish today, I've chosen 
some uh, black sesame seeds. Okay, for the garnish I've chosen today some black caraway seeds. Really, really beautiful and they are going to add a great flavor to the coleslaw because caraway complements something like this very well. So there you go. Check it out. Uh, these items are all in stock. Uh, ChefDepot.com. Have a great day.